The most simple description of VBT that really starts to resonate with people is there's a shift between how much are we lifting, how much load is on the bar, versus how fast are we moving that load. And once you start to calculate how fast someone's moving a given load, you start to understand the difference between just pure strength versus explosivity and athleticism. And so I've never met a coach who, if you ask them, coach, you want your athletes to get more explosive, I've never heard of no. And so when people reference VBT, they're referencing what amounts to the science behind how we lift to make our athletes more explosive. You know, originally in the world of velocity-based training, you basically hooked a string to a bar. And, you know, as with all things, you gotta start somewhere. And so the things that have been added, say in the last 10 years, the idea of doing it with uh, an accelerometer or doing it with a camera. A lead form wants to measure athletic movement with a camera because it doesn't inhibit your athlete um, and provides the easiest workflow when you've got 45 minutes to get athletes in and out of a room. And so in November, there's gonna be an option to use a lead form on your phone. And so that will help people with smaller budgets, small schools, high school, small college. But it's also gonna help out larger clients in the sense that now you have an option when athletes are away from your weight room. And then when the information comes back, how can I easily get to it? Like, how am I able to parse out the results really from a workout to know, have I implemented VBT in the right way? Are my athletes hitting the numbers that they want? If you can build something that seems simple, but offers a lot of depth, that's always the goal. And, you know, it's a goal you can never really perfectly obtain, uh, but we're year after year kind of striving to do exactly that.